Hi, my name is Andreas Rebot. Welcome to this video walkthrough of how to get started with the LPC 11U35 Quick Start Board. First, go to the LPC 11U35 Quick Start Board support page and download relevant files. This assumes that you have already logged in. You will find user's manual, schematics, datasheets and sample software on this page. Download the zip file with sample applications and the zip file with pre-compiled applications. You can update an application on this board by drag and drop programming. This next section explains how this is done. Connect a mini B to A USB cable between your PC and the board. The board will be powered and a pre-programmed demo application starts. Press and hold down the bootload enable button. While still holding down the bootload enable button, press and release the reset button. The board will now show up as a mass storage device on your PC. Double click on the device and you see one file called firmware.bin. Delete this file. Select the new application image to download to the board. You can use the pre-compiled applications downloaded from the support site. Now press and release the reset button and a new application will start. In this example we have downloaded a modified demo application with faster blink rate. You have now downloaded a pre-compiled application to the board. This next section shows you how to create such a binary file yourself. Start the LPC Expresso ID and select a new and empty workspace directory. Click on Import Projects, browse to the downloaded zip file with sample applications and click Finish to import. Select the demo project and click Build. When the build is ready, expand the demo project and then binaries. Right click on the AXF file, select binary utilities and then create binary. A checksum must be added to the binary file before it is being downloaded to the board. Right click on the AXF file, select utilities and then open command prompt here. Use the checksum utility to calculate and add a checksum to the file. You will find the file in a subdirectory to the project. You can now drag and drop this file to the board. This next section shows you how to download code to the board using an LPC link. Connect the flat cable between the LPC link and the quick start board. Please note the cable orientation. We begin by modifying the application slightly. The delay value is changed so that the LED will blink faster. Build the project and then click Debug. The application will now be downloaded to the board. Program execution will start immediately, but will stop at the first breakpoint, which is normally the first statement in the main function. You can now single step through the code or resume the application. We have now gone through this getting started video. We hope you are excited about this board and find it useful in your prototyping work.